Hi there, beloved Jyoti here. I want to talk to you about the energy frequency sort of forecast and experience of this month, June of 2021. So many things are, um, so there's like a foundational energy, okay? And that foundational energy is really all about um, family. And it, it's about the hearth and the home. And, and you know, we're in the sixth month of, of the year, which is like the midpoint already. Oh my gosh, right? We're in the midpoint of 2021. And the sixth month is all about that service, that life that you are here to provide for, to protect, to be in devotion to. So it's about family, community, home, hearth, stability, your community, your meaning and purpose in life, those closest to you. And some of us, yes, have a global family that we feel the same about all the way around the world. And it's also about that. So, so that's kind of what's being impacted by these other energies that are either gonna turn out to be about um, standing beside, okay, or um, learning how to work with um, sort of a uh, coming together maybe of opposing or opposite forces, some uh, opportunities to cooperate, to to see the benefit that is inherent for all parties and, and going for that rather than what the ego says, oh my gosh, this is all mine and this is what I want. And, and so there's, there's two different levels that people are going to experience this 11 or two energy this month. So 11 is a highly, highly spiritual number and when I say that, what I mean is it's, it, it, it's a higher level frequency where the one and the one stand together to make a two. And, and it's a higher octave, it opens up. So if you are clear about who you are, it allows you, and clear about your purpose and clear about your life, it allows you, the 11 energy allows you to have a lot of um, spiritual experiences and inspiration and creativity that's not just self-centered, self-focused, but in relationship to this hearth and home and community and family and devotion and service to the beloveds that are your family. And so this is going to be something to really witness and pay attention to. If you're finding yourself this month struggling with relationships or struggling with a sense of duty or responsibility. What that means is that you are centered in the lower frequency of that 11, which is a two just by itself. And so, so it's kind of like the 11 is like at the top of the mountain that can see everything and is fueled by inspiration and any challenge that comes, the 11 says, ah, yes, I've got this. And I'm here for the benefit of all, especially those who are in my care and under my provision. And I come from this space of love and an open heart and of trusting. And I receive, because I'm devoted, I receive the proper information I receive all, and I can see through all the things that are happening to unfold the greatest experience for my beloveds and those I deeply care about because I'm strong and solid enough in myself to know that I don't have to step down into my ego and, and try to pull, you know, pull things towards myself or make things happen that aren't happening or try to get freedom from what is happening. And, and the two, the lower level energy, 
can feel really constricted and really challenged and have a hard time um, caring for another, feeling depleted, feeling run down, the victim story, having not enough time, not enough energy, and, and really coming from a depleted cup. So the 11 is at the top of the mountain. It's filled, it's filled to the brim overflowing. And the two is at the bottom and is asking, what about me and why me? And why isn't this happening the way that I need it to? And all these people need me. So this is such a tremendous opportunity to recognize beloved. And there's nothing wrong. I want you to hear this. There's nothing wrong with feeling depleted that you've overgiven to have a, a victim story running. We all have that. There, nobody is immune to that, especially with you know, the intensity of life and things happening. But the, the opportunity and the gift here is to recognize, oh, that's where I'm sourcing from. That's where I'm coming from right now. And then when you recognize that that's where you're coming from, you have the potential to shift that to that higher octave frequency where you can truly be of service. And being of service at that level is so blissful. Being grateful, making a difference in other people's lives and watching them thrive. We're not alone in this world. We're here with precious beings that we've been entrusted to care for. And so I invite you to share your experiences with me this month let me know what's going on. Let me know how this resonates with you. Does this feel applicable at all? Does it feel like something that you understand or you kind of have an insight around yourself? I'd love to hear from you. So I look forward to hearing from you, beloved, and I send you so much love and a great big hug for exactly where you are and who you are. You're perfect just as you are. I love you.